And you're supporting a wonderful organization, HMI. Talk to me about being here to support it. Um, well, uh, I actually have a quite a strong connection to it. My husband t is a volunteer teacher at the after school program at the Harvey Milk High School. So I really am um, proud of him for doing that. And I'm here both to support him and that, as well as the organization, actually. But this is great that there's a, you know, I think it's an exciting time we live in where trans community especially are having such a, uh, a, a, a moment in the sun, but yet there's still so many young people who are struggling with their identities, all sorts of identities, and it's just so important that we give something back and reassure them that there's, they're safe, you know, and they, are, they have a place in the world. We have had such a phenomenal year when you look at Caitlyn Jenner, you look at Laverne Cox. What are your thoughts of, we're now seeing people coming out and having the courage to come out and talk about the issues that they're dealing with in these transformations? It's so, what's lovely is that there are these women um, who are having such huge moments in popular culture and how, and, and then they're immediately, you know, not immediately, but we're at a time where they are accepted and it's such a positive thing for for, for all of us, let alone young people who are struggling with their uh, gender uh, issues. And I think, I, my, the thing I think that needs to happen next, and needs to be a, uh, an F to M uh, trans star, that's someone who's in the, in the mainstream, that's like the next hurdle. And because uh, there's so many people out there who are underrepresented. But, you know, the idea that, I mean, I think, you know, Laverne Cox was a kind of vanguard, but this year with Caitlin, I think it's an actually an amazing thing for someone who so represented what our notion of masculinity was to say it's got nothing to do with that. It's got nothing to do with the outside. It's all about the inside, and this is who I always at, was, and want to be. For that to happen, for that to be understood by the world at large, it's an absolutely beautiful and necessary uh, change that we've all made. I think it's, 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 it's gorgeous. Before I let you go, and I was just talking to Andy about this, the big story of the day, obviously, Charlie Sheen. Your thoughts? I don't really know the story. I mean, I, I, I know he said he's got HIV, is yes. it? Well, I mean, well, what was the story? Well, he came out and talked about, you know, how he contracted it potentially, and obviously the repercussions, how he's being extorted, and how he wants to now be a role model for the HIV community. Oh, good. Those are there good we thoughts. Yeah, well, I'm glad he's going to be a role model for, for something. Switch, he's yeah. definitely switching gears, it sounds like. He's going to be a role model for, in a positive way. <laughs>